Keep the same. Get me by the cab, right? Other side. Come on, D, D, D. Set. Hey. Watch your pass, watch your pass. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh! Oh. Holy. All I can tell you now, it was a single knife wound to the chest. So what, he crawled under the cab to keep warm? <laughs> this guy didn't crawl anywhere. Knife hit the aorta. Our friend here was dead before he hit the ground. You got a time? Temp tells me no more than five hours. Puts it around 3 a.m. When the blood spatter, he hit the bricks right about here. And some good Samaritan shoved him under the cab. Clean New York is a happy New York. And this is under the cab, too. A season in hell. Alto Rambeau, French poet. I thought he was a Knicks fan. The Stogie was down there, too. Well, they could have been there since the 60s. I doubt it. Cuban, Monty, too. That's a $40 smoke. My ex was right. These things will kill you. All right, have forensics run a preliminary DNA. Hey, and while you're at it, could you run the Vicks prints through all the right places? Busy, busy, busy. Guy had a wallet, not a stitch of ID. Uh, luckily, I don't think they require ID to hop in a cab. What makes you think the DLA hopped a cab? I don't. I think he drove it. How many cabbies you know don't lock up for the night? Oh, so you're thinking it's a robbery. Well, that's a possibility. But the hack license was issued to a Jihoon Pack. Maybe he was adopted. Detectives! Just called the TLC, Jihoon Pack. Lives over on West 46th Street. Thanks. It's like three miles away. Parking's a bitch. I got the sniffles. That against the law? We found a body under your cab, Mr. Pack. Body? What kind of body? The dead kind. That's New York. They find bodies in all kinds of weird places. Just read the papers. Unfortunately, we don't have to. We just wanted to give you a heads up. Yeah, thanks. What for? We impounded your vehicle. Oh, come on. You can't do that. I gotta earn a living here. Look, we'll get it back to you maybe tomorrow at the latest. And with your little bout of the sniffles, it shouldn't be a problem, right? Man, this sucks. Just for kicks, you recognize this guy? No. I spent my college years driving somebody else's cab, Mr. Pack. You know, lending out your hack license to somebody else could have you looking for work real quick. But that'll be the least of your problems if you do know this guy and you lie about it. It's John Chertoff. He's a nice guy. I met him in AA a couple of years back. Sorry, pal. Another gig down the toilet. Well, how often did Chertoff moonlight in a cab? Every Wednesday, while Mr. Pack was in an AA meeting. We're canvassing the neighborhood to see if there's any locals spending more cash than usual. But you know the odds on a random, isolated killing. Only well, it might not be that random. Forensics ran Chertoff's prints through AFIS. Let me guess, they showed up on the grassy knoll in Dallas. No, in a black church in Beloit, Mississippi. One that mysteriously burned down five years ago. Only those prints belong to somebody named Bobby Lee Redburn, card-carrying member of the KKK. Preacher's two kids died in that fire. Stop. So what, Redburn jumped bail? Nope, hung jury, and he lived a happy life to the feds noticed he was downloading child porn from the internet. That's when he split. Maybe I'm not so upset he's dead. Well, how close are the prints? <sighs> Four-point match. That's hardly conclusive. I'll call down to Mississippi, and you two see if there's anything else to prove that Chertoff and Redburn are one and the same. If this guy was Redburn, he must have left his white hood back in the land of cotton. Now, there's something to be said for the simple life. No phone, no TV. If I were hiding from the feds, I'd be in Rio. You know, it's hard to figure a Klansman buddying up to Mr. Pack. Maybe he saw the light. Maybe it's not him. Ooh, think we're getting warmer. The sheriff from Beloit ID'd the photo as Redburn. He also confirmed that the preacher was home the night that Redburn was killed. I wouldn't be shocked if one or two more of the congregation wasn't out to get him. Yeah, but if the feds couldn't find Redburn, how did a bunch of yokels? Hey, sometimes even a random killer hits the lotto. Oh, is the uh, one about the young man from Nantucket in there? Hey, man, let me ask you something. Do you remember seeing any books in Redburn's room? Me either. I can't imagine he started his collection with a dead French poet. Not when Mein Kampf's available. You think the book belonged to the killer? Well, it's new. The spine isn't even cracked yet. There's a sticker from Barnes & Noble. It's worth a look. Have fun. 
Verlaine was the real talent, you know. Rimbaud just latched onto his coattails and wouldn't let go. Well, we were just saying that on the way over here. He shot him. Who shot who? Verlaine, Pop, Rimbaud. Paul loved Arthur. Paul also loved Matilda. It was a whole mess. The French, what do you expect? So, can you tell us if you sold any copies recently? I really want decadent. I'd stick with Baudelaire. Oh, when you know it. A couple of days ago, our downtown store sold a copy to Nelson Lambert. The writer? Put it on plastic. Damn, I read all his books when I was a freshman in college. I read his police report when he stabbed his wife. I smoke, I drink. Whatever my ex-wives do know makes me stronger. <laughs> Cohiba Millenniums. They make one batch of these every thousand years. Fidel gave them to me. Oh, thanks. I'll pass. You know what I used to love, though, was the Monty Twos. Son of a bitch. That's what I smoked last night. <laughs> you knew that, didn't you? Okay. Well, whatever I did, wasn't enough. Whoever was on the receiving end more than deserved it. In other words, you don't remember? I met the muse last night, detective, and she looked an awful lot like a bottle of tequila. Oh, yeah? And where was she hanging out? Mm, Helen's Tavern. It's an eatery catering to, uh... The drunk and obnoxious, yeah. I read page six. Do I sense some animosity here? It's just that dead bodies make my partner a little testy. And I can ease the pain, how? Listen. A cabbie was stabbed. A new copy of A Season in Hell was found beside the body. Hmm. 